greetings from I am Shilong sir. Um, there is a question that we have for you that uh, what are the skills and traits which you feel are very important for an MBA graduate or let's say an HR professional that they must possess? Very good question Aditi. Um, I think from my perspective the most important trait or the quality one HR professional must have is the emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence then the second one must be the empathy. Third quality must be the person must be a great communicator because communication is the key in HR profession. The third thing uh, from my perspective is uh, HR professional must have an ethical responsibility in whatever decisions they are making regarding people. Uh, there must be uh, an ethical responsibility attached to that. The next one it should be that the kindness and the understanding that is also very important for an uh, HR uh, person to, to have. The last but not the least is the quality of taking hard decisions at times. So these are the key traits and the qualities one uh, successful HR professional must have. Right, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, how do you visualize the future of the HR domain in this era of ever improving technology? I think the most important part of moving business uh, forward is the digitization at this point of time. And HR is definitely one of the key areas where we need to do uh, the digitization uh, at its best. So, HR is going to do the recruitment using social media. Uh, HR is going also paperless and creating a culture of digitization in uh, running the business. VR has come in the training. Then at the same time, we see that employee self-service uh, is getting popular more and more these days. Um, apart from that, um, HR is also uh, including artificial intelligence uh, in making predictive uh, analytics, uh, people analytics, as well as attrition predictions as well. So uh, I'm also very happy to see that uh, how IIM Shalong uh, has included uh, the digital studies uh, in uh, all its, uh, you know, modules uh, and using all the codings and languages, uh, which are very important nowadays. Uh, in doing this uh, digital, um, you know, uh, coding and uh, developing all these, uh, you know, uh, processes. So, all together, I see that HR has a big role to play in digitizing the business moving forward. Hello, sir. Uh, the question for you is that how do you think HR managers can inspire leadership? and ownership in the minds of the employees and do you think that business schools have a role to play in this? Yeah, very good question Aditi. Uh, I think HR has a very big role to play uh, in creating a culture of ownership and leadership in the organization. So how it uh, can be done? Uh, I, I think it should start from the goal setting itself. So involve employees while creating the goals and then cascade it down in the organization and then they can see that what they are actually contributing to the organization and how it is impacting the big vision of the organization. So this is the alignment, alignment, uh, you know, process uh, with every level in the organization, starting from the ground level to the top level. And HR is actually uh, working as a thread. Um, and there is a process also of learning, mentoring and coaching uh, in the organization to bring all the uh, employees together and to share vision uh, with them. HR also plays a, a vital role uh, in, in, in doing the open communication with the employees so that there will be a transparency which is extremely important for, 
for the employees to see where are they uh, in the organization and how they are contributing to the big picture. Uh, apart from that, the, your, your next question uh, that what is the role of business schools in creating uh, the leaders, future leaders. I think it is extremely uh, meaningful what the business schools across the globe as well as in India, uh, especially the Indian Institutes of Management are doing, uh, that putting the components of values, ethics and the sustainability in all your modules, uh, which is basically creating the mindset from the beginning. So that by the time you will arrive to the to the industries, uh, you your mindset is ready uh, to drive uh, the culture of belongingness, culture of inclusivity, and the culture uh, with a purpose. And that is how uh, you people, the would be leaders, are preparing yourself uh, for the, your near future careers. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. That was very insightful.